Okay, guys. I wanted to do a, so we just did um, stock finishing uh, on the 9.3 uh, by 62. I think I had that as part five. Um, this is, I guess, the follow-up video to that, part six, if you want to call it that. Um, so I've got, I'm four coats, in five coats into this stock right now, okay? And what I've been doing after I put my three coats of sealer is yesterday I put my uh, a fourth coat on and I sand it and I put a fifth coat on and put it back in my hot box over there, okay? So that's where I was talking about how the hot box really helps me um, uh, speed the process up a bit. But what I wanted to get filmed on here is what you do in between your coats, okay? Now, because I talked earlier that this is a laminate stock and I've got some end grain in it and stuff, I'm gonna do a step that's different. This is a sealer and filler, okay? Um, I'm not quite that step yet, but I'm still, the process, if you're gonna sand in the grain like I did in the demo, um, it's still the same, okay? It'd still be the same thing. In between coats, you're gonna sand it down, okay? And when you get the color that you want, when you get where, where you like it, that's when you would go through and you'd sand in the grain. If that's confusing, um, get with me on Monday and we'll get some clarification on that, okay? But in between coats, you're gonna do what I'm gonna do right here, I'm sanding, okay? I'm sanding down my stain finish. I haven't put any oil finish on this at all, I haven't done any of that. All I've done is just gone with my, with my varnish, okay? My Alconet varnish. And that's giving me that color. And I'm sanding in between the coats, uh, what we talked about in the last video where if you have a mistake or if you see something you don't like or the color or whatnot, sanding in between the coats can can fix that okay another thing is that in between the coats if it gets a little too goopy on you if you didn't do your mixture right your two-thirds uh your, your three-quarter uh one-quarter mixture right um you can use some mineral spirits to kind of wipe that down and get a bunch of that stuff off it and you're not gonna you know you're not gonna hurt the stock or anything like that or the process okay so this right here is what we're doing in between the coats we're gonna sand it okay now you can sand it quite a bit. There's guys who will sand, you know, 15, 20 times in between coats before they um, they go through and they start applying their final oil finish, all right? So I'm on, this is my second one I'm going to do, so uh, my third one I'm going to do actually. So what I do is I got my my 400 grit, okay, and because that's where I'm finishing up at, all right, and I just tear this piece off, all right, I fold it over once. Okay, and we did this Monday in class, so I'm just this is just for maybe if someone didn't see the the demo, you're just gonna fold this over. Take your paper, okay, fold it over paper side, abrasive to paper side, okay, so that there's no there's no abrasive to abrasive, okay. Now I've already you see I already started sanding on this side of the stock, all right. So you're just going to take your paper and you're just going to lightly go over it, okay? You're just going to lightly, hope I can get this on it right here. You're just going to lightly go over it, all right? And what this is doing is this is actually helping get the, the finish more consistent, all right? Because when you first put your stain on, if you do not do this, you don't sand in between coats, you could have a spot on the stock that takes a little bit more of the finish and the others. And if you guys look, when I was doing the seal coat, right here in the flutes was pretty dark, okay? So in between coats, I've gone through and I've sanded that to take that out, and now it's when I put it on, it's not it's not uh, dark at all. So just come back through here, and you say, you're not trying to be too aggressive, okay? You're not trying to, like, strip stuff off. You're just trying to sand through the, through the, uh, the little, the finish that you got there and get off, you know, little, you know, each time you do it, the first time that you do it, it's going to be like we talked about. It's going to be very rough, okay? When you finish it up, when it dries out, it's going to be very rough, okay? So the, each time that you do it after that, it's going to be a little less rough. That's because you're going through and you're taking out all of the all the um, the high spots and the finish and whatnot and the end grain that's raised and whatnot, okay? So this step right here, sanding between the coats, is pretty important in the overall how we go about finishing the stock, all right? So, because it's really not permanent, especially with an oil finish, it's really not permanent until you start applying your final oil coat, and then at the very end, your wax coat, which seals the stock. Or if you were to 
you know, apply some kind of a clear coat. And, you know, guys do that. Some guys apply, they get automotive, you know, clear coat that they apply to their stock to really seal it in, okay? So it's not something I'm going to do. I've never done that, but I know guys do do that. So anyway, that's basically what you're going to do. Just what I'm doing like right here, okay? You're just going to go through and get off a little bit of the high spots. And you'll see them. You'll, you'll see them. You look in your stock when you take it out. After it's dried, you look at it, and there'll be bright spots all over the stock. Well, you got to sand those out, okay? And if you come across anything that's like a, a discoloration, you know, go ahead and sand on that. Take that discoloration out, okay? So, let's see. Once you've done that, which I'm pretty good on here, okay, I'm going to take a rag and just wipe it off. Okay, get all this stuff out of here. Okay. Get all this out. Okay, and even this, you know, you just gotta, this isn't like a precision thing, you just gotta get most of it off, okay? Because you can say you're gonna go through, in, success, in successive coats, you're gonna be doing this, you're gonna be sanding, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply my finish, okay? This is my, or my, my varnish finish, okay? That's this one, okay? That's not my oil finish yet, okay? So, and there's different ways of doing this as well. There you guys brush it on, you use foam brushes, you can use what I like to do is uh, I use lint-free um, cotton rags and I cut them into little squares and fold them over for this step right here. Okay, so the first step when I was sealing it, I was using the brushes, right? This step right here, chip brush. This step right here, I'm using the rags, okay? So what I do, I take my rag, okay, and I fold it over, right? And I've already mixed my, my uh, varnish coat, okay? Let's get it in there, all right? And now I just put it on. And the first few times that you do this, you know, your little your rag is not going to your what you dip in there is not going to go very far but each successive sanding coat it'll go pretty far okay it's going to go even further that's because your stock is getting sealed okay the pores are getting filled all right and all of the your finish is getting to be more uniform all right so that's that's important to understand that okay cuz you know the first few times you guys do this, you know, you're gonna waste a lot of a lot of your uh, your varnish finish, okay? Because you don't know how much to mix, you know. But as you get doing it and doing it more and more and more, you'll you'll be more consistent in your finish, okay? So just keep going like that. Get it down. And I like using the little uh, t-shirts like this, t-shirts, uh, little cotton squares, because it really helps me get this consistent. Okay, it really helps me be where each one, I'm kind of starting to rub it in there, okay? As opposed to brushing it on there, okay? So when you guys do this, what's gonna happen is each time, you know, you, you don't, don't worry, you're gonna have like, you know, spots on the stock that are a little bit brighter than others. That's fine, you're gonna, each time after this stock thoroughly dries, you're going to uh, just sand those out, okay? So I, this will probably be the last one that I do on here where I'm rubbing this in like this because I'm really happy with the color. I've gotten all those kind of imperfections in the coat and the coats out. See, it's, that's pretty much not even there anymore. I may do one more, I'm not sure, maybe. Um, but I'm pretty sure that after this one, I'm gonna be putting on my filler, okay? Now, the filler, if you guys wanna try and do it with your grain, you can, all right? Uh, with your walnut stalks. But with the laminate stock, is the only reason I'm using this product, the filler, because of all, when I shape this stock in, I put in all this end grain through here, so there's a lot of areas here that are open that I need to actually fill. And I could sand to the forever 
uh, in a traditional way like I would with walnut and those grain that would never fill. So that's why I'm going to use that on this and I'll get that in probably the next video. But this is good. This is going to let this hang up and dry and the stock is coming along. So I'm going to put this over here. up turn it on my heat source and we're good to go so um, I've gotten some questions about the other build I'm doing my 223 build and I'm pretty close to putting this together I just ordered a trigger for it so I wanted to get a good premium trigger for it so uh, I got this stock here See if I can get this up here. Look at this. Okay. So this here is this has been uh, dura coated, my brown. Okay. And I went through and I applied a little bit of camo to it, the snakeskin camo to it. Um, I'm waiting. I'm going to do a clear coat on this. And uh, this is this is stock finishing too. Okay. This is. Not it's it's this is what you're gonna do 90% of the time instead of the wood stock. All right, you're gonna do something like this. All right, so we'll cover this more in class. I just some students want want an update on how this was going. This is super simple to do, and I will uh, if you have questions on it, go ahead and we can get this be on Monday. But anyway, I just wanted to do a little update and let you guys know where we're at and way to go. All right, guys.